Hello and welcome to Lesson 7, Covering Shapes. To start, we're going to do um, an explore activity. And so what you need to do is follow the instructions. And so, it's not working, but what you're going to do is on this piece of paper, you're going to use these shapes. And uh, what you will do is uh, you will, um, first you're going to estimate how many blue pattern blocks will cover each shape. And this is a blue pattern shape, blue pattern block, sorry, blue pattern block. Um, and what you're going to do is look at each one of these and without putting a blue pattern block on any of these, uh, on any of them, like without filling it up, you have to estimate how many uh, blue pattern blocks can fill each one of these, how many it will take. And it, they'll fit exactly on there because that's the way that they're designed. Okay, so it's not going to be like three and a half at all. It's just always going to be um, a full number. Okay, so first you'll estimate, then you're going to cover each shape with the pattern blocks. So just take enough to cover the biggest shape and then move them around. There's not enough shapes to go around with every, for everyone. Um, and then you're going to order the shapes by the number of blocks that covered them from greatest to least. So what's the biggest shape to the smallest shape? Okay, so pause the video and do that right now. Remember you're estimating first. Okay, so you may have finished this activity by now. Um, and my smart board still is not responding, so we're going to do it on the paper. Um, and so here it is. And so uh, what you might have estimated for this one is maybe uh, it'll take maybe four pattern blocks, maybe eight. Uh, this looks like maybe five. And this could be four or three maybe. Okay, now I haven't done this in advance, so I, I just estimated, and you should have written down, but this is going to be somebody's sheet, so I don't want to do that. Um, okay, so let's see how many pattern blocks it takes for this one. So then we start piling them on, and we line it up like this. And it looks like this one takes four pattern blocks. Okay, and I have a few here because I'm the only one right now. This one. Okay, so there's three so far. Four, five. Well, this one, ha this one takes six pattern blocks. I only have three pattern blocks left, so I'm going to have to take them off. But so we've got four, we've got six. Um, let's see how many this will take. One, two, three, four, Five, so we've got four, six, and five. Now let's see this one. One, two, three, four. So it looks like these ones are the same, same size because they both take four blocks. This one is the largest one because it takes uh, six and this one takes five, so it's medium. So if you were to order them, you would put a B first, then we, you would put C second, and then A and D would be equal because they each take four blocks, right? Was I right about that? No, they take, oh. <laughs> you may have had this problem too. Yeah, that was four. Okay, so again, that was B, C, and then A and D together with the, with the blue pattern blocks. Now, what it says is the number of units uh, needed to cover a shape is called the area of the shape. All units used to measure the area of a shape must be the same size. So if I'm going to me measure the area of this, I have, to, if I'm, and I'm gonna use pattern blocks, I have to use all blue pattern blocks. I can't use a blue one and a green one and a, and a red one because they're different shapes, so that doesn't work. Okay, so I have to pick something like blue pattern blocks and cover the whole thing with those. Um, and then we would say that the, like these two pattern blocks are congruent because they're the same size and the same shape. Okay, um, and then you can find the area of a shape by counting how many units covered. So the area of this shape would be six pattern, six blue pattern blocks. This one would be five blue pattern blocks. And then the area of this one would be four blue pattern blocks. And this one would be four blue pattern blocks. Okay, so what you need to do now is, um, this is a practice. And it's kind of easy, but you are going to uh, put on here what the unit is. Um, and you might have to know the colors because this doesn't show the colors. This one's red 
and this one is green, okay? You're gonna have to know that for what the unit is. Uh, but see if you can try that right now. I'm gonna see if the smart board works and you are gonna pause the video um, and do that. There they are. Whoops. Okay, so you can see that this is uh, red pattern blocks and green pattern blocks. And so we've got pattern blocks here. And so the red one, this is what it's representing. And the green one, this is what it's representing. And so this, the unit is, and we would say the unit is red pattern blocks. That doesn't work. <laughs> red pattern blocks, okay? Um, yeah, red pattern blocks, you just write it. You'll just listen. Okay, and then the area of this one would be two red pattern blocks. You have to write those words. Two red pattern blocks, right there. I don't know why this isn't working. Um, and then <laughs> the other one, right here, the unit is green pattern blocks. Green pattern blocks. Okay, and the area, because right, this is the unit, I'm using green pattern blocks to find the area. And then the area is one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green pattern blocks. So you have to write seven green pattern blocks right there. Okay, now in the space below, see if you can choose a pattern block. Maybe you wanna choose blue or red, or maybe you wanna choose yellow, the big ones. But draw um, a shape on the paper where you have this empty space and then and then uh, draw it out and then tell how many units it is tell what the area is so if I were to draw this shape on here I would draw the outline and then I would say that this is four pattern blocks four yellow pattern blocks to be more specific okay your lesson is your BLM and good luck